welcome back to my channel. garlic powder, onion powder, paprika seasoning, and <clears throat> apple cider with some pink salt, Himalayan pink salt, Himalaya pink salt, and parsley flakes. So they will stick to the rack. This way they can cook all the way through evenly. And I said apple cider vinegar, I think I said too, guys. I put that on there to keep it. And I had, also I added some red pepper flakes in here as well. And I will let you all know. I will let you see it when I finish. When it's finished cooking. Okay, guys, I'm about to cut my cabbage and put it on and my pot I have one smoke turkey wing one smoke turkey wing and I'm about to season with some vidaya see complete season some black pepper this is for my cabbage. Some red crushed peppers. I let my uh, smoked turkey wing cook in the pan for about an hour. So it can be kind of good and tender. And I'm adding a little salt. Just a little, not much. You don't take much salt. Well, I don't use much salt. And accent. All right, let me wash my hands and I'll be back to cut my cabbage. Now I'm about to cut my cabbage. Bought my cabbage from Audi for six nine cent a pound. And I just put it in the pan like so. And that hard part in the middle, I don't like to use it because it's so hard it don't cook down. That's how I cut my cabbage and season them to be cooked. And also I add a half a stick of butter. Just to give a little bit more flavor. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for stopping the sound. Today guys, I got another great recipe. I made me some cabbage with um smoked turkey wing on to in it that I um, pre-balled before I um, put my cabbage in 
and me some roast roast pork chops that I put on my little um little rack in the uh, oven. So how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well on this lovely, beautiful day. Uh, it just so gorgeous outside. And we are blessed to be here, right? We are so blessed to be here. But before I get started in the business, let me bless this food. I am so hungry and I'm ready to eat. Amen. Amen. Had to get that in. So, yes, how's everybody doing? I'm doing great. I'm on week one of keto. I'm going to show y'all my progress. Hopefully, I lose some weight. And probably, uh, hopefully, I'm going to show you what I weighed and me putting myself on the scale in front of you all. You know, I don't show my weight to everybody, but I know I can show it to you all. I'm putting me some vinegar in my cabbage. And I got some onions, because I love onions. <clears throat> got me some onions. I'm ready to try my pork chops. Yes, I'm trying this little keto. And I got my core water. Yes. Gotta have that hydration. It's so hot outside. Gotta keep that. You know how it is in the south. It's so warm down here. Get that. That poor chop. Isn't that wonderful? That looks great. But let's see what it tastes like before I put anything on it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. That is good. Got me a little tiger sauce on the side. And this tiger sauce, my eyes are not like they used to be. But it's only 10 calories, 2 grams of carbs, and what? 2 grams of sugar, and that's it. And I love the tiger sauce. I do. It goes well. My daughter told me to try it on the cabbage, so I'm going to try it on a bite on the cabbage, too. Yes. Tiger sauce is everything. I like it. Bet you on my fried chicken. Mm. Oh, let's do it. I see so many YouTubers doing keto. I said, like, you know what? You give me some great ideas. I mean, they're inspiring me to do it myself. That's what I meant to say. They're inspiring me. It's my first time eating pork chops in like a long, mm, probably six months or more. I haven't eaten pork chops in a while because I like them either fried or on the grill. Oh. What am I doing? Get me, I'm gonna grill me something next time. Mmm. Curves grass is on. I put them in the oven on 350 for about. Mmm. On the rack. Probably about. That's about a good 30 minutes. But keep checking them. 
and why and while it was in there, I kept mopping them with a little vinegar, some red crushed pepper flakes, and a little olive oil. I poured on top. Just to keep them moist while they sitting on that little tray so they won't dry out. And they did not dry out. They did not dry out. There's some red pepper flakes right here. Got turkey meat. I broke it up all through the cabbage. Get my peppers. Mm. Peppers dead. You all take a good look at my flavor. Look at that. The pork chops came out so good. Look at that. Drink some more water. I got ice in it. It's so cold. I had it in the freezer. This is a nice keto meal. They're not tough. Oh, that's so good. Like I said, I kept mopping them while they was in the oven. I didn't flip them. I kept them mop, mop with that olive oil and vinegar. Like you do if you cooking it on the grill. Outdoor grill. Mm. So like I ain't have enough onions on that. I love my onions. Yes, I'm gonna take a bite with this. Oh, the cabbage. My daughter said it's so good. She said, try it on the cabbage. Now, let me try a little bit on the cabbage. Because I'm pretty sure you can eat it with everything because it's so sweet. The tiger sauce has a sweet taste to it, sweet and spicy. Since I saw it on Princess P channel, when she was eating that time with some chicken, I've been eating type of sauce ever since. I love the 
bone of it. Little bone of pork chop. Just give it What's going on in the world, guys? What's going on? Not everything. But staying on the news still is sweet pies. How he set up to have his nephew killed. Mm-mm-mm. They saying now, I read it, that he tried to also set up his mom too. Tried to have her kill. Like, what? I know Tim didn't need money that bad. I think his mom gave him his own um, restaurant. He got his own restaurant. Sometimes the little bones get caught being a pork chop. I'm eating really fast because <laughs> I'm hungry. Hungry, boo. Hungry, baby. I'm really hungry. Oh, that water's so good. <laughs> If you have never tried the cold water, it's really good. Put it in the, in the freezer, let ice get in it. It's really good when it's really ice cold. Mm. Oh, little popcorn. Need to try this. This is a this is a great keto meal. Cause you know you can eat much vegetables, and amount of vegetables you want, and meat. As long as you're not fried, because that vegetable oil is so unhealthy. I didn't realize that. I'm 
telling you, that vegetable oil is unhealthy. I did some research on the keto olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, and it may be some other oil, but those are the three that I paid, you know, some attention to. Said they are really good for you. They're better. Especially for your, um, your liver. And real butter, not margarine, real butter. Bacon, any kind of real fat like lard, you know. And I remember growing up, my mom used to cook, fry all her food in lard. That's why we probably didn't gain weight. Just about a bucket of lard. Do anybody, anybody my age probably remember that. Uh, back when my mother was cooking and my grandmother. And they could say the fat from the bacon, when they fry bacon and all that, they cook with it. Sure they help. Mm. So I'm discovering now. What's healthy fats and what's not healthy fats, you know. Cause there are healthy fats and there are fats that aren't healthy, you know. Like I said, cooking oil, vegetable oil. Why do they call it vegetable oil? It doesn't have vegetables in it. And it's the worst kind of oil to cook with. Cause another oil also, you know, I'm you know. That's just my opinion. Now, put it down. But if you're on a keto diet, what I'm saying, those are unhealthy oils. Not putting them down because that's all I used to fry with. But for us being on a keto diet, you know, it's not easy. But I said, I'm gonna try it for a little while. I'm gonna try to by the end of the year. I'm gonna try. Like I said, I have my weaknesses. As long as I don't see them, because I say I'm the only one in the house doing it. And my family buying, putting it in the pantry wet. And I have to shed it, keep from looking at it. <laughs> But just hang in there. I'm gonna try to hang in there. So all I can do is hang, try, try to hang. Yeah, get rid of some of this quarantine weight. That was delicious, guys. I enjoyed this. Mmm. Mint packet sauce tastes really good on it. It's really good. Mmm.
good. Mm. Hope y'all enjoyed it just as much as I have. I have really enjoyed this. And I feel satisfied. I don't feel too stuck. So I thought maybe I'd share it with you all. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And thank you so much for the support. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Tap the bell notification right beside if you want to see more of my videos upload. And comment. I love comments. I do. And give me the thumbs up once you go in my video. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you like my video. Yes. Give me the thumbs up. Give me the thumbs up. Well, guys, I'm about to get up out of here into another video. You all take care. Take care of one another. Take care of yourself. And be safe out here. Be safe out here. School is really opening up. My district haven't opened up yet, but I see schools around me have opened and everything so they we getting prepared to open as well too and i know it's going to be a good year everybody just you know till we get past this pandemic and all but we are we're going to be okay so i thank you all once again for stopping by sale take care of yourself now and take care of one another until my next video i love you all i will see you in the next video bye-bye